In this video, we'll talk about Australian domination in 2022's Birmingham Commonwealth Games. It's that time of the year again when athletes around the world compete in the most competitive sports competition after the Olympics. As usual, Australia vows to clinch gold in every format. Do they start training their kids right after their first birthday? Well, it looks like it because right now, people can't stop talking about their prized gymnast, Georgia Godwin. Firstly, Commonwealth Games kick off with gorgeous gymnastics performances. Gymnastics is one of the most challenging sports to compete in. It requires skill, training, and stamina of the highest standards. One literally has to defy gravity to perform the stunts these talented ladies do and make it feel like a walk in the park. This year's Commonwealth Games are being held in Birmingham, and athletes have left no stone unturned to secure gold for their country. But when we talk about Australia, they're in a league of their own. Is there any sport they aren't good at? Everyone may think that the United States dominates the world of gymnastics, but Australia's top-performing gymnast routines say otherwise. Gymnastics is such a beautiful sport, it's almost like a dance. Especially when the song choice is phenomenal and the routine is superb, the audience can't help but feel good. That's exactly what the gymnastic world felt when 24-year-old Australian talent Georgia Godwin performed her routine at the Commonwealth Games. Gymnastics has a rich history in the CWG, officially included in the Games in 1978. Men and women are required to perform at events including rings, balance beam, uneven bar, vault, and pommel horse. As for Godwin, she catapulted to instant stardom with her individual all-around performance, which literally left people in awe. The Gold Coast gymnast became the first Australian to win gold in the event after 12 years. Lauren Mitchell was the last Australian gymnast to achieve this feat in Delhi. And that's not even the best part. After securing gold in the individual events, the young athletes also have their eyes set on other events. There are still three individual events to go, which means that Georgia still has opportunities to take home more than one gold. This is her golden opportunity to put her name in the record book. Her upgrade on her all-round silver on the Gold Coast came at 12.95 on the floor with a total score of 53.55. Her numbers weighed on Canada's Spencer's 52.35 and England's Achimpong's 53. Second, we have Georgia Godwin winning over the crowd with her golden performance. When Aussie gymnast Georgia Godwin went on the floor, she knew exactly which song to pick. The 24-year-old went with an instrumental version of Michael Bublé's Feeling Good and beamed to glory. She was extremely breathtaking and absolutely perfect in every way. Georgia gave a clean performance that left the entire arena feeling good, as if they've won the gold. Everyone tried their hand at snapping England's undefeated run of artistic gymnastics gold medals, but it was Godwin who was meant to be the chosen one. She secured a commendable lead over Achimpong and clinched the gold right under their noses. Her floor routine was in sync with Bublé's feeling good, and it felt as if even Georgia knew how flawless she looked. It was the youngster's first Commonwealth Games gold medal, and it seems like she won't be stopping there. After her historic win, Godwin told reporters that she didn't have any expectations when she came into the competition. She was nervous going on the floor because every athlete wants their performance to be clean and not too stuffy. She also told reporters that the song she chose for the floor routine is something that's grown within her. Georgia added that the song choice was good for her because Michael Bublé always manages to make her happy. She also admitted that she didn't have much sleep before the tight turnaround, but if lack of sleep makes her perform like that, she's better an insomniac. Godwin started out fifth after scoring 13.3 on the vault first up. Luckily, she gained momentum in the uneven bars routine, which pushed her to the third position. The 21-year-old England's Alice Kinsella paved the way for others as she fell off the beam. When asked about what goes in her mind while performing, Godwin replied that she tried to stay in her own little bubble. This allows her to focus on what she's doing. And don't we all need that kind of bubble? She took the lead as she earned a high score of 13.75 over her brilliant routine, which she finished with a double somersault in the pike position. What's more interesting is that Godwin's way was miraculously cleared for the gold as even Anchampong fell. This went on to establish the fact that Godwin's performance was far superior and her head was obviously in the game. Up next, Australia is giving every country a run for its money with stacks of gold. It's raining gold on the Australian teams in the CWG held in Birmingham. Aussie athletes are leading the points table with 22 gold medals. This means that Aussie athletes are taking the lead in almost every event. The latest Australian talent to make the headlines is the 24-year-old gymnastics protege, Georgia Godwin. She broke England's godlike gold streak in artistic gymnastics in the Commonwealth Games. Godwin claimed not only solid gold in the individual all-round event, but also snatched first place in the women's individual vault as well. She's a true star in the making. As for the other sports, Australia enjoyed a good one with swimming and also enjoyed success on the track. Aussie sprinter Christina Clonan set a new Games record on the track.
track and claimed gold in the women's 500-meter time trial. Way over there in the swimming section, the Australian swimmer Matthew Richardson won gold after completing a sprint double in the men's sprint final. Then there's Kylie Chalmers, who snatched gold in the 100-meter freestyle. The leading nation also managed to grab a few silvers, not to brag, but 13 and 17 bronze. Following Australia, in second place is England with 11 gold, and in third is New Zealand with 10 gold. Let's not forget to mention the backstroker Kayla McEwen, who managed to grab gold in the pool on the fourth day. There's still plenty of games to go, and it seems like Australia will be ruling them all. Related news, coming up, Aussie swimmer issues a silence signal after winning. The nation that's been ruling over the sports world is at it again, and now they're banging through the Commonwealth Games. There's no doubt that Australia produces some of the best athletes in the world and history, but maintaining their standards even after all this time is quite commendable. Birmingham has been colored a yellow as almost every Aussie athlete is raising the flag at every turn. The Australians are also having a field day in the pool as swimmers are snatching gold after gold. The latest to join the gold ranks is none other than Aussie swimmer Kyle Chalmers. He sprinted towards victory in the men's 100-meter freestyle and became the new Commonwealth Games champion. But what's more interesting is that after he reached the finish line, Kyle issued a silent signal when he won. He wasn't going for subtleness when he straddled the rope and sent across a message which many thought translated as a shut-up call. He gestured with his fingers, which probably means that he was giving it to the critics and mainly the media. There's no hiding the fact that media scrutiny is the worst, and Chalmers was brave enough even to admit it to the media that he hopes he sent out a powerful message. He further defended his gesture, claiming that it was better than tensing of the muscle or giving a fist pump. Up next, De Rosario defended her marathon title in the CWG. It's one thing to win gold, it's another to defend it when the entire world is after it. The Australian wheelchair racing star Madison De Rosario won a gold medal in 2018. Now she's back in the Birmingham Commonwealth Games and managed to defend her marathon title. Yet another gold was added to her already heavy box full of medals. Madison had a solid opening to the event as she aced the race in only 1 hour and 56 minutes. The 28-year-old won not only the marathon, but also the 800 meter at last year's Tokyo Paralympics. She wasn't shy in claiming three World Para Athletics Championships titles. She's also favored to complete the T53-54 marathon 1500 meter double in the CWG. And finally, Australia shines in men's 3-on-3 three -three basketball. Australia is unstoppable at the Commonwealth Games. Not only seasoned players and former champions, but Aussie debutantes are also leading the race. Australia's Daniel Johnson only just appeared at the Tokyo Olympics last year, and now he shot four perfect shots for Australia in the Commonwealth men's 3x3 three -three basketball. Australia reached the target in less than six minutes as the Adelaide 36er made all the shots from inside the arc. Not that he didn't attempt it from the outside, he did and scored. The 3x3 basketball game is played only on a half court, and both teams have 10 minutes to reach the 21-point target or be the highest scorer when the clock runs out. That's a wrap for this video. Which athletes are you rooting for in the games? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.